everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how I've made this. It's kind of evolved from the roll-up gift or the roll-up treat box that I made maybe a month, a couple of months ago. And um, this is obviously for Father's Day, so I've put this one together. So you have these four boxes here and they're kind of kept together, I guess, by this belly band. So it just slides off and then they just open up like so. And inside each of these, so I've made them to fit these um, Ritter Sport. So there's four of them in here, all different flavours. And these are only a pound each. So again, it's a nice way to, you know, give a gift that, you know, it doesn't have to cost too much. And these are delicious. They are really, really lovely. So yeah, those four go in there. So it, I mean, it's got a bit of a weight to it, but because of the way that I've put it all together, you know, they, they hold well and um, it's easy to carry. You could obviously pop it in a gift bag. I've got plenty of gift bags on the channel. And you could also make more. You could add more to this. So you, there's no reason why you couldn't have another one here, another one at this end here. And um, you know, and then you just need to make the belly band a bit bigger. But it all sits nicely inside there, like so. Very easy to make. So let me show you how. Okay, so the papers that I've used are from the Gardenia. This is a first edition paper pad. I've used this one here, and then I've used the reverse of the trees, which is this polka dot one. You can just see it all here. You can still get this on Amazon and places like that. So it's a really nice 12 by 12 pad. I used a lot of these in kind of earlier tutorials. So yeah, that's today's papers. For the Father's Day, I've used this one here, which was from an old Do Crafts Paper Mania Father's Day from 2016. So that one. I don't have a lot of Father's Day things, and I think, because <laughs> I only make a couple things obviously every year, um, I think maybe next year I'll look at some different fonts and stuff, but it works fine. And I, I've mixed it with this one here, which is the Bright Rosa Birthday Words, and I've just used the Happy. And I've die cut it a few times in brown card, as I always do, layer them on top of each other so it gives it that dimension. It looks like a really nice embellishment. And then I've just got some of my circle dies here, which I've used and I used, I combined the two stitched ones there because I wanted the circles to be quite close in size. The next size up from that one was a bit bigger than I wanted, so I've gone for that. But again, <laughs> it's a very minor thing, but any, any circle dies or any shapes you want. So I'll go through all of that later. And I've already made three of them. I've just got them here. So I'm gonna show you how to make one of them. You just, but you'll need four pieces of 10 by six. What you want to do first of all is along the 10 inch side you want to score at four and a quarter and then four and seven eighths of an inch and then nine and one eighths of an inch and then nine and three quarters. Slightly unusual scoring because we're working with a four and a quarter and then a five eighths of an inch width. So it was just a, it was because it they you know it is made specifically for these chocolates. So that was the measurement I found worked best. So again, I'm just going to repeat that again: four and a quarter, four and seven eighths of an inch, then nine and one eighth of an inch, and nine and three quarters. Then rotate it along the shorter six inch side. You want to score at five eighths of an inch and then five and seven eighths of an inch and then five and a half. So again, five eighths of an inch, four and seven eighths of an inch and five and a half. Next, you just want to so do that four times or three more times, and then you just want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. I just want to do a little bit of cutting. So you want the long, you want it in this orientation you'll have your quarter inch tab here on the right hand side. So you just wanna cut up all of these score lines here. So this one, this one, and these two. And then you'll have that tiny little quarter inch piece there. Just remove that completely, like so. And then I'm just gonna take a little wedge off of the squares there. Okay, then rotate it and you'll have another two score lines there. You just want to cut them to the first score line and then remove the two smaller pieces there. So you'll have this quarter inch tab and just take little wedges off of there. Then you want to flip it around to this end and you're actually going to remove all of this section here. So the top two pieces so you have a score line here and then this one. So I'm cutting along the second score line down, I guess, like so. And then cut down here, okay. And then you wanna cut down 
this one here and then this one here. So past the first, you're cutting down to the second score line on those two pieces, you'll see now what you have. And then you can remove the top pieces on these, like so. Now you want to take little wedges off of these ones, but really it needs to just be a slither. Because if you take too much off, then the lid will pop open. And um, you know, you don't want that to happen. You'll find yourself having to like put a little bit of glue on it or something then. So just a tiny little amount. It's just enough to wedge it in when we go to close it. And again, you might want to take just a little bit off of this one again so it can close it up. In fact, this is the one more so that it would pop open. If you cut too much into this, it just won't stay in the box. Okay, so if I lay that down now, you can really see what we've got. We've got a quarter inch tab here. We've got a side panel here with a tab at the top and the bottom. Then we've got, this will be the front or the back, doesn't really matter. And then you've got your other side here with the tab at the top and the bottom. And then you've got a piece here that's just got, you know, the front or the back and just that base piece. So now we can glue it all together. So I'm going to flip this one over and I'm just going to bring in my glue here. And I'm folding over this little piece here and I'm just adding glue just along that quarter inch tab. And then I'm just going to bring this one over. I'm not too worried that the pattern inside is upside down, which some of you may notice there. You're not going to see it. If it bothers you, then just check your, your reverse pattern. Just fold that down and then move it across and again burnish it well just to make sure it all lies flat because that means all your sides are perfect. Okay, so I'm going to just fold down one of them here. And then I'm not too worried which one you know folds down first. Then I always like to put my side tabs in next. Pop some glue on top all the way along here. Pop that one down. Bit of glue on top. And then fold that down there. Flip it over and I'm just going to grab, I'll use this here. Just pop this inside and it just allow you to get in there and just make sure they all stick down properly. Okay, and then you can just fold in the tops here and then close your box like so. You see it wedges itself in there and that's what you want. Okay, next you will then have your other ones already made. So you may have yours, have yours all the same pattern. I've actually got the chocolates already in these ones. So let's pop the chocolate in that one as well. So then what I've gone and done is I've got these pieces here. I've cut four, but you actually only need three. So they're the patterns that I want because I want them to match what I already have. And these pieces measure, we've got here one and a quarter by four and a quarter. So it's the whole height of each of these boxes. And then it's one and a quarter wide because it's two of the widths. Okay, and then you just want to score at five eighths of an inch along the one and a quarter, so right through the center. Okay, so you actually are going to only need three pieces. Now, you want to decide what one you want to have at the front. Now, because I'm having this polka dot, I'm actually going to have one of these pattern ones, and then I'm going to do a concertina fold with those patterns like that. So, when it opens up, it's going to be like that. Okay, but when it's closed, this will be the first one you see, and this is what will have the belly band wrapped around. And I just thought having the polka dot with then that pattern as the contrast would look, you know, quite nice. So keep them stacked together like this, first of all, and then you want to decide whether you want to have the same kind of patterns because what's going to happen is you're going to stick these very, very similar to how I done that roll box like this to attach, but it's created a hinge. Those will go like that, these ones will go on the opposite side. So I'm just going to take those two away and I'm going to add glue onto the back. Actually it's good to have the stuff in it because it gives me like, you know, a surface that I can actually, you know, put pressure on. So now I'm going to stick that down across the two and it will perfectly line up. You want to do this when they're side by side, let it dry completely and then you can kind of open it up. And you're just, you, by doing it close, you know it's all going to, you know, close up and you'll be able to get the belly band around. So like so. Okay, so now you can see how that opens up. you just got a nice finish. It just looks really good. Then I'm going to bring in these ones here. So you want to make sure you have them all opening up from the top. So now this one is going to go in here. And then this one is going to go here. 
next we want to stick these two together and then we we'll stick those two there. So with these two here, so I'm going to pop it back together again, pop it now facing you, is I now want to put this piece over the two in the middle, like so. Okay, so I'm just going to add some glue again onto the back of this. And again, just hold it all together. You don't really need to worry about that one for the moment. Make sure you keep them all nicely squeezed together. You can see that sits perfectly over the top there. Okay, so now we've got that one and then this one opens like that. So you can see my hinge in there and there's my hinge now working on this side. So the last one is then this one. Again, make sure they all open up from the top. So that one's going to go in there and I'm now going to pop this over these two at the end and then I'm just going to sit that one exactly the same way over those two there. So this is what I mean you could keep going, you could then flip it over again and start putting more together. So it's, it's entirely up to you how big you want to go with this, you just then have to make your you know belly band bigger. But now you can see they all sit perfectly together but now that one's still glue still drying but you can see now how it opens up and we've got this really fun you know way to give these chocolates I love doing things like this so I'm just going to spend a minute I just want to really make sure that's stuck down so then this is just the a piece of um again piece of scrap and this is 12 by it's to be honest it's up to you how high you want it I've done 12 by 3 now it doesn't wrap all the way around but it's going to be you know attached together with this piece here so I want to have this again as the front so that when you open it you know it's like that i always like to just wrap my belly band so i'm just gonna i can slide it up in a minute but i'm just gonna hold it and then wrap it around and then wrap it around you don't want it so tight that you can't actually pull it off but you do want it to just sit nicely again it's quite handy having the chocolates in there because i can really kind of push down without squashing the boxes but you can see now and then what i'm going to do is i will attach it with glue to join and then i'll be able to slide that belly band off so i think i'm going to use i'm just working out where i need to put the glue here because i don't want it to obviously all ooze out of everywhere so let's just slide it up a little bit there like so so i'm just going to roughly do like an arch of glue like so make sure you don't get any of it on your cardstock below there we go and then i can just sit this over the top like so let it grab and then slide it off and then we can really kind of burnish in those score lines but so far now yeah i think that's going to hold so just while that's drying i'm just going to decorate it i've done the decoration i guess quite simple but you could you know put a lot more on this you've seen that you know ways that i've decorated belly bands in other videos sometimes i go really over the top other times i keep them a little bit more you know simple so going to pop a few of my foam pads on this one and then I'm just going to pop that circle right in the center of this one here and now I think we can slide that off and then you can just fold it and just burnish those score lines and that will help when you go to slide it off as well like so so now I can pop that back over And you just get a really nice finish there with your belly band and now I can just finish off with these pieces here so let's pop a few more little dimensional pads on this one there we go and now we've got a really nice way to give all of those Ritter chocolates and what I'm also going to do is just finish it off with some Nuvo drops I've got the brown colour here which I don't use very often so this is dark walnut but it seems perfect let's just squeeze a little bit on here just to make sure there's no air bubbles and I'm just going to do a little grouping like so that just gives it a little bit more texture a bit more interest on something that was maybe a little bit plain um, I think it looks great so again now you can just slide that off it's a really fun you know gift you can put anything in this, it doesn't have to be these chocolates. And then in the side you can see all of that wonderful, tasty chocolate. 
case that's the end of today's video thank you for watching i'll link everything as always in the description box of the product that i've used if you haven't subscribed just click on my face here that would be really appreciated and uh, you'll get to see more fun tutorials and also click on any of these tutorials here that i've linked because they'll be similar to what i've shared with you today thanks for watching bye